Okay, so in this lecture we will discuss first order uh, ordinary differential equation, right? So we have seen how uh, we can have linear and non-linear differential equations, and we have seen how the order of a differential equation can be defined. So we'll see that first order differential equations are special, right? So in general, although non-linear differential equations are extremely hard problems, if they're first order, it turns out that there are general methods available. You know, we'll look, we'll look at uh, a few examples, right? Okay, so a first order ODE has this is completely general form dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y, right? It may be linear or it may be non-linear, right? So because f of x comma y can be, you know, as complicated as you want, let's say, right? As far as you know, the general development is concerned. Right, so there is a special form which is, you know, particularly convenient. If dy by dx is, is of this form, it could have minus p of x divided by q of y, right? So then it, it's in a form which is called a separable form, right? So then oh, the formal solution can be written down, right? So all you do is you, you bring this q of y dy to the left side, then you can write plus p of x dx and then integrate both of them, right? So since it's a you know, function purely in x and another function purely in y, you can formally integrate both of these and that's the solution, right? right? So it's another matter whether this integration can be carried out and if it, if you can write down a solution in closed form or not, right? But if the, if it's a separable um, differential equation, then at least there is a formal solution available, right? So let's look at a few examples. So one is that of radioactive decay this is a simple problem which most of us must have seen something of this kind. So the rate of decay of a radioactive sample is proportional to the remaining number of atoms, right? So the, uh, you know, it keeps on reducing in number and so uh, the rate also uh, drops as a function of time, right? If the rate constant is lambda and if the number of atoms at time t equal to zero is n naught, let's find the dependence of n of t. So the differential equation is is just given by the rate dn by dt is equal to minus some constant times n, right? So lambda rate constant is also given. So the negative sign is important. Lambda is a positive number. So it's a, it's a decaying uh, function n of t, right? So the solution is, is, uh, is just this and it's straightforward to see this. So it's a, of the separable form, right? So we can write this as d n by n dn by n is equal to minus lambda dt is equal to minus lambda dt so integrate both sides so you get log n is equal to minus lambda t plus some constant so therefore n is equal to you can absorb this constant into this and it's just n naught times e to the minus lambda t right so very familiar differential equation I, I think most of us must have seen this okay example 2 so if you solve the differential equation x times dy by dx so once again this is a separable differential equation so let's look at this x dx x dy by dx is equal to y plus 1 is equal to y plus 1. So you have dy divided by y plus 1 is equal to dx by x. So log of y plus 1 is equal to log x plus some constant. So y plus 1 is equal to some uh, uh, is equal to e to the c times some constant, some other constant, which I have called a, right? So it's y is equal to ax plus one. Very straightforward, right? So it's just an exercise in integration, right? Okay, so we're starting simple, very straightforward stuff. And so what it gives you is a family of curves, right? So there is this free constant. So notice that it's a first order equation and then you have a one free constant which comes in Right, and this will turn out to be a general rule for linear differential equations. So it's a family of curves that you get. 
So let's look at also one more example. So the parachutist problem. So you have you know, the velocity of a falling parachutist as a function of time. The, the air resistance is taken to be quadratic. So you have a minus bv squared and we are interested in the limiting speed of this parachutist. So you have m dv by dt is equal to mg minus bv squared. Right, and the answer here it turns out to be. So let's very quickly look at this. So we have m m dv by dt is equal to mg minus. So we have m m dv dv by dt is equal to mg minus bv squared. So let's divide throughout uh, throughout by b. So we have m m by b dv by dt is equal to m g by b minus v squared. So we have defined m g by b m g by b as v naught. So we have the equation and m by b is g t squared. So we have g t squared dv by dt is equal to v naught squared minus v squared. So then we bring in uh, this is you know slightly harder than the, the earlier two but it's still probably familiar. So you have v naught squared minus v squared is equal to dt divided by gt squared. So then you you write this as a partial sum of partial fractions. So you have v naught minus v and then you have v naught plus v. So I have uh, um, if I add these two then I will get v plus v naught. Um, so v will cancel so I will get 2 v naught so I will have to divide by 2 v naught. So I can write this as 1 plus this divided by uh, 1 over 2 v naught dv is equal to dt by gt squared. So now we can go ahead and integrate both sides. So you will get you know log of v0 minus v with some coefficient minus minus sign then you have another log of v0 plus v on the left hand side. You can collect these two log terms so and then on the right hand side you just get an exponential of t. So this is um, um, divided by um, 2 v naught, not v naught, not v squared, but 2 v naught. Right, so you have to carefully, uh, you know, work out the algebra. It's not difficult. So it's just one over uh, two, one over 2 v naught. Right, one over 2 v naught, and so this is a straightforward integral to do. Right, you have to collect the terms carefully, and then you have just a t which comes out on the right hand side and then you have to solve for v in terms of t and so you can see that because of the presence of these two logs there's a few more steps involved but i will not go into it you will complete it as homework you can show that you get a tanch function right so you get this cinch over cosh t by t is involved all the details you will complete if you plot this also it's a very instructive graph it's going to saturate for long time it starts at time t equal to 0 it is given to be just 0 and then as a function of time uh, it is going to saturate to v0 right. So in fact we have managed to find v0 as well that was one of the questions. So this lecture is in the nature of warm up most of these examples we have already seen but we have seen how if you have a first order differential equation of a special form which is a separable form then you can formally write down the solution even if it is nonlinear. Right. That's all for this lecture. Thank you.